welcome to Realizations. Go ahead and grab your waters, grab your journals, and let's get settled in. Let's take a drink. If you guys love the videos, please like them. Please subscribe to the channel. Share them with your friends. You can pop in all the social, chat with us. Let us know if there's a topic that you would like to hear about. We would love to hear it from you. All right, guys, let's get started. Today, I want to talk a little bit about this journey so far and how this all started to come to fruition. We've been doing a lot of manifesting, dreaming, going all in, and it's been one of the scariest, most crazy things I think that we've done to date. So for two people who have done a whole lot of crazy things, <laughs> that's saying a lot. When we first started dreaming up all of this, if you've read my first book, The Accident, then you know life really got shook up for us. We literally got the shit shaken out of our lives. <laughs> and after we got into the accident, I just couldn't do what I had been doing anymore. I knew that we could have died. I knew we should have died or at least been really, really seriously injured. But we we weren't. We were, I mean, we were, but we weren't. We could have been a lot worse. I just wanted after that to find my purpose, my passion. I, I couldn't stand the thought of doing something that killed my soul for another minute. But I didn't exactly know what that was. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't have a bunch of money in the bank. I didn't have, I wasn't even making enough. So I was actually the opposite already. I was already so in debt from not being paid at work. And I was really struggling to stay on my feet. So going all in on a dream that I knew nothing about, that I had nobody to look up to for all of the things that I wanted to do. I got really lucky and I had one friend who uh, had told me he had written a book and gave me some tips, really gave me some good advice. But I felt like he knew a lot of people. He was pretty connected. And it made sense to me that he would write a book and that he would be successful and do well. He was already like living the life, you know, that he wanted. He was already in the dream. That's how I felt anyway. He might laugh if he ever hears this. <laughs> but I just felt like it was still like he wasn't in my playing field. I was way out of my league here. And in my life before the accident, if something made me feel that level of fear, I was probably bailing and I was going to make some excuse about <laughs> whatever. And I was bailing. I didn't want to bail anymore. And I didn't want more decades to go by with me saying, oh, I still have never done that. So I had to really start figuring out how to get out of my own way. Let's take a drink of water on that. One of the first things that I did is this vision board. If you're watching the video version, you can see this behind me. <clears throat> a friend of mine and I put these together. Um, we really had no idea what we were doing. And we just decided to go to Dollar General and buy a bunch of stickers, which we found out is now not the dollar store. It is the dollar 25 store. And those sticker books really added up. But man, we really wanted to start manifesting things. And so many of the things on this board have already 
come true. It has been so cool and so amazing to see this actually come to life after getting clear about what I wanted. Not only did I do the vision board with the stickers, I also journaled on it. I got crystal clear about what I wanted, why I wanted it, what that would do for my life, and what that would do for the lives of others around me and as a whole. So I'll give you a great example. If I had billions, millions, just nice amounts of money in the bank, okay? I would not be using any of it for anything that wasn't for the greater good. All of my money, I would want to be investing back into adventures, into properties, into experiences, into growth into helping the community, finding ways to help people who, you know, I have been in this system for a long time with my hearing loss, and I've seen people with glasses. I've seen people who need, um, with their teeth, there's, with the dentist, there's a lot of things that they don't really have places you can go for that. I would love to find ways to build with that. So when I write down, I want to have a very, very healthy bank account. I want that because I will do X, Y, Z with it. It will affect everyone around me in these ways. I will feel financial freedom. I will feel uh, more joy, more excitement, more ability to help others. There's so many good things that come from it. And when we start to reframe and we start to look at it like, okay, what do I want? Why do I want it? How much do I want this? What changes? When we really get clear about those wants and needs, everything changes. It starts to get into alignment with us because we are getting crystal clear and we are also showing life, hey, We want to do good things, and life wants more of that. Life is like, finally, finally, hey, it's been a while. (laughs) They're ready for you to be here. I do this with everything. I take a look at where I'm not feeling as fulfilled, and I look at what I can do to make myself feel more fulfilled. One thing that I have started doing lately is uh, anytime there has been a group setting with women in business, entrepreneurs, anything in the community that I feel that I can benefit from meeting these like-minded individuals, uh, meeting more minds that get it and we can help each other rise and we all want the same things. I just have felt so much more powerful and I've felt more confident in myself. Things have really been changing for me. The more that I have put myself out there, the more I have got out of my comfort zone. And I realized, I realized, (laughs) I never knew this version of myself existed, could exist. And now I'm here doing all of these things that I dreamed of when I was a kid. And it's better than I ever could have imagined. And in this realization that I can walk into a room full of people with this new confidence, with this new self-assurance, with this new belief in myself, the whole energy of the room shifts with me. I see people relax. I see people start to enjoy themselves more, start to connect more. 
if we all could do this, if we could all bring our own unique lightness into each situation we come into with that confidence, with that self-assurance, man, the world would be a different place. All of our lives would be different. And that was the biggest realization of all. When we are so confident in ourselves, everyone feels that energy around us. And the only way to get that kind of confidence is to keep getting out of your comfort zone. The minute we start to let ourselves really fall into that comfortable lifestyle, that's when we fall away from our goals. That's when we fall away from our communication. That's when we fall away from ourselves, from our dreams, from the things we want. Because that is when we get into our space where days can go by, months can go by, years even. And you get so swept up in the comfort that you just wake up one day and it feels like you blinked and it was over. I realized that I had a lifetime of that. And I didn't want that anymore. I wanted the total opposite. I wanted to wake up and be like, wow, so much has happened that I can't even remember it all. I have to document this. I have to write it out, video it. I want to remember everything. But life is going so fast because I'm having so much fun. That's what I wanted. And I didn't ever have that in comfort. Sure, I have some moments when I'm out of my comfort zone that are, they're not the best feeling, and some of it's really, really hard. Some of it's rejection, some of it's arguments, some of it is realizing something about myself that I never knew before, something that I need to work on, grow through. That's never easy when you feel like you kind of get slapped in the face with this new information about yourself that you don't necessarily like. So yeah, it's not always easy when you're out of your comfort zone. But so far, that has been what has been propelling my growth. It has been moving me so fastly forward. And man, it's just the opposite is so much more fun. And this is this is the life I'm going to go get. So manifestation, let's talk about that. Getting clear about what you want. Crystal, crystal clear. What happens if you get it? What changes in your life and the lives around you? If any questions come up here, play with it. Get into your feelings and figure those out because those are, that, that's the most important part because that's where we really start to look at it too. Some of our dreams that we think we want, we don't even really want. So we're holding on to this old dream that we just for some reason think we have to do. We don't have to keep the same dreams. Maybe there's new dreams you haven't even thought of. You haven't even sat down and done this in so long. Maybe all of your dreams are different than they used to be. This is where you get to play around. Dream about the life that you really, really, truly desire. What feelings do you want in your day to day? What are important things with you and your partner? What does your household look like? Your career? Do you travel? Look at everything, absolutely everything that is important to you. If you could have your dream life, what would that be? Let's take a drink of water. The 
only thing that is standing in the way of you and your dream life is you. If you never try, you will never know. And it's time to get serious about that statement. Some of us, we might be having really great lives right now. And you're like, you know, I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine if this is all my life was for the rest of it. This feels great. Like the dreams that I really wanted did come true. And I'm good here. And that is perfect. Enjoy that realization. Enjoy that information. That is yours now. You know you can lean all in on your life. You do not have to worry about a thing. Just start getting so in love with your life now that you know just how happy you truly are. Start making it even better in your life. We can always make things better. We can always find a new way to spice our lives up. So start getting creative there. Just because you're comfortable doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's good. It's whatever you make it. So if you're like, no, (laughs) I'm not doing any of this, that's cool. But if you wake up one day and you want a little more, just know you can always get happier in your life. There's always things you can do and start getting creative. If you don't have the life that you want, if you feel like you are just, man, burnt out, overwhelmed, overworked, overstimulated over everything, if you feel like there's never enough money, there's never enough time, there's never enough sunlight, there's never enough whatever, If life just feels harder than it has to, let's think about why. How far away from you are the feelings that you want in your dream life? How far away does your current life look from your dream life? And then let's look at why. There's no right or wrong answers here. It's just getting honest with yourself. Once we get really honest with ourselves, we can really start to pull it all apart and look at what is it that is missing? Why are we sabotaging some of these dreams? Why are we setting ourselves up in these same patterns when we know that it's something that we don't want? Why aren't we learning our lessons? Why aren't we shaking the shit out of our lives? Why aren't we doing more? Once you start to look at what's holding you back, you can start to look at what, what's the opposite. What is on the opposite side of what you're currently doing? And how do you start to get there? What is your baby step to start moving in that direction. That's really what it is. You get clear about what you want. You get clear about why you want it. You get clear about just how much you want this. And then if you want it bad enough, if you really want to start shaking the shit out of your life, you start moving. Little tiny steps at a time. Everything in the beginning of this journey felt overwhelming to me. (laughs) Everything. The first bookstore that we walked into on the Northwest book tour, I was so nervous. I had no idea what to say about myself. I was pretty much just like, hi, I wrote two books. Do you want them? (laughs) And they were like, what do you mean? What are they about? And I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. It was awful. I felt so out of place. I just felt like I was being pushy and I was being like a gross salesperson. And I just, I had so many stupid things in my brain that were just causing me to freak out for no reason. But then 
after we went to like 50 coffee shops and bookstores, I was like, okay, I don't have any time to be worried anymore. I'm just kidding. It was like three. And then I'm like, I don't have time for this. I have to get out of my own way. I have stuff to do. And then it was just great. It was great. It just took off from there. But it was hard getting in the car and leaving, not knowing what we were doing, (laughs) just figuring everything out as we went. No air in the car. It was, man, all these places I had never been. And 1997 Grand Marquis, by the way. Camping. I had never even camped. Like one time I camped in my whole life. And we did it. And we went and it was crazy. I wrote two books. I started the podcast. Like I went back to school for the wellness coaching and totally changed my life with that. I started my own coaching business. I've been helping people change their lives and feeling more normal and more accepted in the world. We've been just diving into traumas and why we tick the way we do. And they've been giving me as much as I hope to have been giving them. And It's just been a really cool, cool ride. And I can't imagine had I not started moving a year and a half (laughs) ago-ish. If I was still working, oh gosh, if I was still working in the office, oh my gosh, I can't even think like that. It's been so scary and so financially bananas um it is we've just you guys we didn't know anything we had no idea what we were doing we've just been figuring it out along the way dream your dreams they can all come true if you're just moving if you're just putting yourself out there doing anything that puts you in places that you want to be and getting experiences that you want that make you better and surround yourself with more people that uh, get into alignment with you. Start building the lives of your dreams right now. Let's take one more drink of water. If you're in a place that you can get comfortable Go ahead and let your eyes close. Let your shoulders relax. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out. One more breath in. And out. Keep breathing. Picture yourself in your dream life. How does your body feel? How does your hair feel? Can you see your hands? Wiggle your fingers. Look around you. What do you see? What's your scenery? Are you feeling the sun on your skin? Are you surrounded by people you love? Are you at a career that you love? Soak it all in. Take a big breath in and out. How do you feel? 
Are you happy? Excited? Calm? What's the best part of what you're feeling or seeing? Where's your focus at the most? How does that fit into your current life? Is it something that needs change? Is it something that currently brings you peace? Is it something that you want to enhance? What's one thing that you can do for yourself this week, today, that puts you one step closer to that? How do you make that a priority for yourself? How do you seal in this feeling So that on your harder days, you can remember this. You can pull it back up. You can remember what you're fighting for. What you're working towards. What you really want. How do you remind yourself through the next seven days to get yourself a little closer to that each day. Do you write affirmations? Do you listen to your favorite songs? Do you meditate? What do you need? Breathe it in. And out. You are capable of having anything that you want. If you can go get it, if you can chase it, if you can create it, it can be yours. How much do you really want what it is that you think you want? Adjust it. Make it the best dream yet. And go get it. It's yours. It's yours for a reason. Breathe it in. And out. Breathe that energy in one more time and breathe it out. Let your eyes open, shake your shoulders out. All right, everybody, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. We love you all so much and we really hope that you enjoyed this episode of Realizations. Have a wonderful day, y'all.